Hey, and welcome to day three of our 30 Days of Demos video series. My name is Pete Preston, and today we're talking about dynamic fields or dynamic sections and conditional logic in your new form builder. Let's look at a demonstration of dynamic sections and conditional logic, which are based off of how users answer particular questions that you can choose. For this one, we're using a change request form, and we're going to use the change type as the trigger question. Now, when a user selects a particular answer here in the change type dropdown, we can then choose to show or hide different sections that follow. So to add sections, you can add them using this button that you see here. But we won't add anything now because we have it built already, and I'll just quickly show you what those sections look like in the form builder. So you can see here we have section end, section start, and you can name your sections. Here we've called it standard change. So if someone selects the standard change change type from this drop down here, they will see this section. And you can see here that there are a variety of sections that follow that we are using to be dynamically shown or not shown, depending on a user's answer to the change type question. Let's just have a quick look at how that works in practice. So here we have a preview of the change request form, and we're just going to come down to change type and select standard. When we do that, we see one particular question here. Now let's say you're coming to this form and you actually now have an emergency. We'll scroll down and see a whole lot more questions that get added in because this is a not a, it's no longer a standard change type, but it is now an emergency change. So you can see here that you can show and hide a whole lot of information and you can collect more information from users by using these dynamic sections and that conditional logic in your form builder. If you'd like to get notified of all the videos coming out in this series, please click that bell icon and subscribe to the channel.